You guys are probably wondering why Joanna Stern is standing next to me, the lovely and delightful Joanna Stern. Give her a round of applause. Uh, so, so, you know, Joanna's kind of our resident um, Windows laptop expert. I am. And I recently expressed uh, a kind of a dislike for Windows, which was well, well, just haunting me. I said Windows feels like poison to me on a podcast. And, and it really was affecting to a lot of people. A lot of Windows fans. And uh, Joanna, how Joanna got this idea that, that, that she could provide a better Windows experience for me. That's what I'm hoping. And well, we, were, we were talking about this, and, and she was telling me, okay, well, if you get a laptop, here's what you need to do. And I thought, people are going to get these for the holidays. They're going to get a new Windows laptop, and it's going to have stuff on it that they're not going to like. Well, they'll have some stuff that they do like, but yeah, some sure. stuff they no, don't I, like. Yeah, sure. I understand that, but it's going to have like bloatware. And you have kind of like put together a little guide to how yeah, to make your windows. Yeah, deep poison windows to deep for you. poison, the antidote. Yes, I'm hoping after this you are going to be using windows. I'm going to be a full-time windows user full -time after this. Full-time windows user. <laughs> Anything's possible. Uh, so let's walk through. Yeah, what, so what would you we've do? We've got a few different steps here. So this is a Samsung right out of the box. Hopefully we're getting that there. And one of the big problems is crapware. You mentioned it before. Yeah, I hate it. I hate it. Litters the whole do you, system. Do you, have you met anybody who's like, you know what I really like? Crapware. <laughs> I like a computer to be really bloated when I get it. I bet actually this company that makes this software likes crapware because they wouldn't have a product. They wouldn't have a business. They wouldn't have a business. Coming at it from a different angle. Yeah. Though. So Slim Cleaner is the first uh, thing you probably want to put on your system. And you can actually select different programs. By the way, here. we're not, this is not, Slim Cleaner is not paid for an advertisement. Yeah, no. Never. Joanna just thinks it's a good tool. I just to, found this. And, and this basically will find bloatware on your computer. Exactly. And what's actually interesting about this is like me and you, we know what to delete, right? We know, like, well, oh, we probably should get rid of this uh, wild tangent games. What I do is I just erase everything. hard drive and put on something. I else. put it, and then I put it away. Okay. <laughs> Well, some that, others right? in our audience know what to delete. <laughs> so what you can actually do here is you can see reviews of things that people like said, oh, yeah, you wouldn't want this. And you can come in here. Yeah, because this is, say, they're actually crowdsourcing. So yeah. on this piece of software, people will, will basically tell you this is a, you want to keep this piece of blow. Right, That's and there's comments. Really people leave comments. But, it's, but you know, the thing is you have to be careful because like right the, the Bing bar, for instance, 91 people said we like this. Well, I bet at Microsoft a lot of people like No, no, I mean, maybe it's great. I don't know. I'm just saying, maybe you don't want the Bing bar. I personally don't want the Bing bar. Right, there you go. But, so that's one way to do it. You could obviously also come into the control panel here. Like this is, and it. this is a little bit nerdier is to actually just go find the application. Exactly. And, and then, it by hand. so like, you know, and then there's the step, the major step. This is the sledgehammer. This is the sledgehammer. You buy Windows 7, you install it. Yeah. You Which get is, rid of everything. I think that's what I would do. That seems easier, but it's like how much it's is it? One hundred twenty dollars. Yeah, so that's like the sledgehammer. This is going to cost the, you. Uh, the doing it on your own is the scalpel. Yeah. And then what would you call the slim cleaner? Is like something in between. It's um, like a rusty knife. Huh. <laughs> yeah. One of these, doing gun. one of these moves. A gun. A gun. It's a gun. Okay. It's a gun. All right. So I've, I've taken the blowware off of my computer yeah. now. <laughs> Thank you, Trent. It's good. It's good. So this one here, <laughs> you kind of you might want to get rid of sort of the generic. Windows desktop. I think that might not be, that might be what you don't like about Windows. I'm not crazy about, I am like, it, it's not, it doesn't strike me as particularly beautiful. Okay. You know, maybe like you don't like the icons all on the left side, you like them on the right, maybe like you want to add, it's sort of a widget type of thing. So this, this is, this is, this actually looks really nice. Yeah, so this, I mean, this is really cool. I've used two different things here. One, I changed the desktop background, which is great background, you should always great do. choice. First thing you should do, change the desktop background. Like this one has an HP logo on it. So the other thing I did here was I installed RainMeter. And RainMeter actually lets you, it's sort of like a Launcher Pro, uh, for like Android Launcher Pro for Windows. You can put widgets up here. I've got battery. I've got time. And you, and you can customize all these things. You can put your, I've got the Verge logo or the, the Verge feeds coming through here. That's good. And good then choice. over here you can, I'm using something called Fences where you can, Organize all your desktop icons. Do these, so these are just aliases to apps. Are these, do these windows snap? These don't snap in place, so you can move these around. Well, how are you, how do you get things perfect? Uh, you line them up. F with like a by, ruler. by hand. With oh, a you get, you put yeah. a piece of tape on the yeah. screen? <laughs> that's <laughs> that's great. I feel like snapping would be a really good feature here. It would be. Yeah. Uh, that's, maybe that's just one man's opinion, though. It actually seems to like sort of lock in place. So but it I don't is know snapping. if it's, it's snapping, but it's and what not. Is like, it, and what is that called? This is called Fences. Okay, so Fences and Rain Meter. Yeah. Again, not paid endorsements, just no. things we like. Just software that we and, like. And so, and then on this one, on this computer, which by the way is obscenely 
ripping off awesome. a MacBook. I mean, no, no. Does I your saw, MacBook have this? No, no, no we saw it. I wish it, little Beats yeah, volume. God, I wish it had a Beats volume control This is the, the new side. HP Envy for this letter. Gruber showed it to his kid backstage and goes, look, Jonas, a ripoff. <laughs> <laughs> this is, Which is amazing. I mean, this is freaking shameless. I mean, they should be look ashamed of themselves. Do you have this, this Beats audio thing? <laughs> This is disgusting, okay? I mean, I, the, if, how come Apple isn't suing HP? That could happen. I mean, to tell you about IP, IP ripoff, Neelai, can we? Oh, I'm on the case. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're on, you're gonna do handle this? Yeah, no, I okay, So back, right. to, to Anyhow, back to Windows. But, but, but let's talk about what's happening on the screen. So, yes. So, uh, so you, what, right here, I think Windows has gotten sort of a bad rap for not having very good looking apps. I think people sort of figure Office, you're gonna have you know Outlook, all that sort of stuff. Right. And so here's some Ribbon, nice ribbons everywhere. Ribbons everywhere. Uh, so this is a few a few apps I like. This is Metro Twit. It's really nice looking. Sort of looks like a Windows 8 or a Windows Phone Are 7. Are you following app. Tom Cruise? Uh, yes, I am. I didn't even know he had a Twitter account. He doesn't, you know, I really should unfollow him. No. <laughs> no. I need to really find him, much. so just keep following him because I need to follow him. He doesn't tweet I need much. to find out what's gonna happen with Ghost Protocol. Is it gonna be cool or not? Um, Okay, so this is basically like, it's basically like a Twitter client, Metro style Twitter client. Exactly. Okay. Looks very nice. What else? Maybe you want to use it. Maybe. What is this? Maybe. <laughs> what? What? These are some, uh, this is an email client. I wanted to find you an email client that you'd really like. What is wrong, what is wrong with you? Ross emailed me this. Ross emailed this My to you? My good friend Ross. So I wanted to show you the GIF support, the animated GIF support That's here. That's great. Uh, but no, this is an app called Postbox. It right. comes they, through OSX as well. Yeah. But, uh, you know, it's a nice, uh, it's, it's not the perfect Gmail implementation. I wanted to find that for you. Yeah. But. It, it's a good one. You can get labels in there. Yeah, you have also these little applets. Yeah, these what is little this? applets in here. So you, these are uh, a, a little app called Pokey. And so you can install these down here to the taskbar. And uh, you can actually just like sort of reply from in here. Are you replying right now? I'm going to reply to Thomas Houston right here. This is great. So you don't actually have to go out to the, uh, right. to the browser. So these are little, little uh, applets, little yep. wrappers. And all are free. Uh, and I, again, have to, I have to me. admit, I mean, I feel like this combination is, is, is somewhat Compelling. Yeah, look at this desktop. Look how nice it is. Oh, I see it. This screen. <laughs> you have the third one too. Yeah. Application installed. <laughs> All right. So. So you're going to use Windows now? No, no, no. I mean, so if I was, uh, mm -hmm. I think there's a laptop in mind that you. W what would you recommend for me? This one, you, you seem to really like. <laughs> yeah, how this it looks. is great. This is great. I, just, I won't have to get I actually um, haven't used to a new yet. look. Yeah, and look, and then remember. Uh, yeah, you got beats. That's yeah, great. yeah. Um, uh, I would suggest, and I think I've got it over here. And, and, and this is the Lenovo IdeaPad U 300s. We, we were talking about this before, and I have to say, like, as far as, and, and this is, this should be, you know, HP should uh, take a look at what Lenovo is doing because, you know, there are some similarities, particularly keyboard or whatever, to yep. uh, to a uh, to a Mac. But I mean, every computer has this now. But this is actually the industrial design of this is really nice. And I really it, like the design. I don't. You're you will miss the backlit keyboard. No backlit keyboard, but. Well, that's, that's, Maybe an the next I mean, that's an outrage. I know. Uh, and this is a Core i3? Yeah, you can get a Core i7, Core i5. All right. I mean, maybe I'll do it. I mean, maybe, maybe you've shown me the light. I doubt it, but I mean, it's possible. I will say that this is a this, much better. This desktop looks good. <laughs> yes, it looks go very back, good. Go I know. I'm trying to. All right, here you go. Thank you very much. Join us, turn everyone. <laughs> Deep poisoning. Try it. Try it.